bra strap pop. Baby, you my head, gang. You all I ever want. Holy shit. This shit is so scary, bro. What's up? So today, got a little street photography in Hollywood Boulevard. Nothing too crazy, but we're gonna get into it. So this first shot, I saw Capitol Records right in the background, you know, nothing too crazy there. I like the depth of it. It was a nice day that day. Just trying to line up my shots. A lot of this, beginning photos a lot of just you know trying to warm up to it i've been out of the game for a little bit so trying to get back into it but nothing too crazy hopefully i got the fucking shot this shot right here i really like i like the composition i like the uh the artwork in the background and the different colors, I thought the different colors is something special. So I wanted to make sure I got the perfect shot. This is a good shot, good clean shot right here. Colors really pop.
This is a a free photo, no composition at all. Just camera by my side. Took it. You see a lot more of those later on. You know, a lot of my shots, a lot of my stuff, photography is off guard, candid. Um, I don't really like to frame up a shot. Sometimes I like to just shoot, and sometimes the camera, I'll hip fire a shot, I'll camera be on my waist, or just holding on the side, and I'll just shoot. This is another good one right here. This is, uh, I thought the composition was beautiful. The way that the light, the sun hits the building. Pretty, pretty wild. That was probably one of my better shots of the day. Yeah, that. I, I see what they're saying because the light is like you can't do too much in, in post. You can bring out the uh, the shadows, but other than that. Oh, you You know, the, the way I choose my shots is just whatever I find interesting. It, it could be a person, it could be a car, it could be a building. You know, just just have fun with it. That, that's the way I get my shots in. I have fun doing it and I don't mind. I uh, come up to a Ferrari. I don't know whose car this was, but shot it real quick. That was a nice little shot. I also whipped out the film camera, 35 film. Um, the film shots haven't been developed yet, so I'm not able to put them into the video, but uh, I'm hoping they came out pretty good because I, I got some good composition with my film camera on some other shots that I did get. Uh, th this is a nice little warm-up, though. This whole beginning is a nice little warm-up. Warming up a little bit. Some fire on the way. This is another good shot right here. I was trying to wait for the perfect moment because the cars, they were, you know, they're in the foreground. I was trying to get them out, try to separate it from the building. I didn't want anything there. I like the food truck and right by the building. So I wanted to keep that incorporated into the shot. And then I like, perfect timing, got this biker right down there. That's perfect. And then I um, took out the film camera and we did some more with film. And I, I can't wait to see those, how those came out. I'm using a uh, Olympus 35 RC. Good little small compact rangefinder. Uh, for the film, I was using Fujifilm 400. This is another, so the camera's at my side and I just take the picture. Whenever I'm walking, whatever I see, I have no idea how the composition is gonna be. Just take it at my side and that one came out, you know, decent. Nothing too crazy. I like this shot. I like the older style building in the background. Lined up that shot. And I'm shooting, I'm shooting with the 50 millimeter lens, so. Well, that shot was all right. And this one, this is probably one of the better shots of the day right here. This was a really, I think everything was just right. The lighting was right. The composition was right. That was a winner for sure. The colors were right. Everything was good with that one. And this one was interesting. This is, I was just walking and I saw this orange car. It's a Beamer. And I just love the look. It's between two black cars and, and it just pops. And then you got the green above it and just the orange i thought it just worked so right here you know my, my freestyle of shooting i just whatever i like whatever i see so i see this lot right to the left of me and there's definitely potential in there you see how it, it angles up but right back in there there was somebody sitting on the table sitting down and i was just like i don't know if they'd get too pissed if i try to take a shot so i just decided not to do it but that was definitely uh a good Good shot for sure. Uh, this is probably one of the lesser shots of the day. I didn't know how I wanted to frame it. 
uh, looking back at it now it's just way too close to the wall so there, there wasn't too much depth or it's not too much going on with this shot uh, you know it came out whatever I'm not too impressed but it came out whatever it's having fun I saw that really matters had fun doing it so um, so right what I'm about to do right now when I get to the crosswalk I thought this was a good shot too I, I like how I waited for the perfect timing between the split of the cars and got that one that one was pretty good I like that one but what I'm about to do right now is so this I don't do too much or too often I like to just run and gun essentially but uh coming up I'm gonna frame my shot so I'm just gonna stay in place not move and this is this is a good way to learn to start taking candidates or of people and you don't want to seem too creepy or too in their face and just stay put just stay put for maybe a couple minutes couple seconds however long whatever you comes across your way and simply aim down uh your camera and whoever gets in range you know they're, they're not going to think you're taking it of them because you you were already posted up for a minute so that's what i'm about to do right now and i think the shots came out pretty well it's pretty good I had fun doing it though, so can't really complain. I like the chaos of all the different cars and all the people. I thought it was an interesting shot, especially to be shot on film, so I can't wait to get those uh, photos back. So right here, Right here, I'm just gonna stay put. I'm gonna stay put for you know a couple minutes, couple seconds, whatever. And I'm just gonna aim down my camera. And whatever I get, whatever I get. So that, that was the first shot. Staying put. Aiming right down my camera. Got I thought that shot was pretty good. So we're just staying put. Just whatever happens, people, you know, whatever we get. And then I thought this was interesting. That was a, I thought that was a good candid. Well, it wasn't really candid, but I thought that was a good shot. And so here we go again. So this is another one where I just the camera is that is just hanging from my arm, and all I do is put the push the shutter button, and whatever I get, whatever I get, it's a low angle, and I like the composition. I like the low angle because it's just like. Some people, I feel like, try to get those type of shots, but me, I'm just doing it in an effortless, careless way. I just have the camera and just shoot. And, you know, it's a low angle, but I, I like the way some of those shots do come out, for sure. You know, I'm not trying to try hard or anything. I'm just, just simple, just, you know, nonchalant. If it's a good picture, it's a good picture. If it's not, it's not. But um, I find a lot of those pictures actually come out to be pretty, pretty good. I'm not doing anything too crazy. So this was actually, I didn't even, I was on my phone, as you can see. I didn't even see this. I didn't even see the Joker posted up right there. <laughs> so, I'm on my phone and then, you know, I'm not really paying attention, but... As soon as I turn back around, I don't know why I turned back. I think I turned back around to get the, the sign. And that's when I spotted him. I was like, all right, this is some good. This is some good framing right here. So I'm shooting with the 50, and I could kind of tell he didn't want to be approached, at least with the camera. So I started to stay back just a little bit. I got that, got that shot right there. Oh. There's so much going on, especially Hollywood. I believe this is a Saturday. I get the car again, real quick. 
all off the cuff right there. I, I really enjoyed those shots. And this is this is this shot right here is just so I'm taking it of the Chinese theater. And this is just making the best. So these two biker cops get in my frame. So they're gonna get they're gonna get a shot. You know, they're they're gonna get a frame for themselves and you wanna get them a shot. So that, that's another thing is just like don't think that some of your photos to be perfect. You know, there could be a little bit of chaos in your photos. What's his name? Carlos. So there could be a little chaos in your photos. It doesn't have to go according to plan. I, I do like the abstract. I do like the, uh, you know, the, the stories behind photos. You know, a perfectly framed, a perfectly set, lit photo. It's all good and nanny, you know, it's, it's nice, but I do like the photos that have stories behind them that's just like, you know, you capture an image and there's so many meanings to it compared to a, an image where you capture and it's just, okay, it's just a really high edited photo. So that's why I like to take the low shot, uh, run and gun style photos and have the camera at my, at my side while I'm taking them have no idea what I'm getting in frame, I have no idea what I'm taking a picture of, but I really do like the uh, the composition for sure, and it's definitely a style that I'm gonna be going towards, or that I'm already in, and I'm just gonna advance on it. So it's enjoyable to me. So I actually went earlier in the day, and the lighting was kind of harsh when I first got there, but by this time of day, the lighting was just really hitting. Just lighting was amazing. I didn't really realize it until after the fact, but the lighting was just, it was hitting for sure. Um, and I really enjoyed the shot of the hotel. It's interesting how the light is reflecting off the building across the street and going around to it. I thought that was interesting. I liked that a lot. Um, I think that's it. So coming up, we're gonna get, we're gonna see a very interesting sequence, and everything just works, you know. And none of this was planned, but everything just works. So as I'm making my way through this crowd, I'm just keeping with that same intel. I like. Uh, to shoot at my side so you know just I don't know I, I mean sometimes I have no plan for it but it's coming up in a second and you'll see what I'm talking about I'm the fuck did I get Do I want? Ah, uh, fuck it, dude. Just can't end up lost. So going into this shot, this is this is an incredible sequence that I could not have planned better myself. So I did not even know I was doing. I was taking photos at this time either. So here we go, here we go, watch this sequence right here. That's me, man, you having a good day today? Yeah, you? So where you from, California? Yeah. A oh, West Coast love, and OG, we do try to get a tip, is that cool? What We do try to get a tip, is that okay? I don't have any cash on me right now. Demo cash app, take car? I'll, I'll come back around. Come back around. So those are just some of the, the shots real quick. Like I had no idea 
not until I went back and edited this video and looked at the pictures that I took, I didn't even know that while I was talking to him, I flashed off a shot. And that shot came out so well, because I don't know if you can see, some lady in the bus was looking directly at the camera. And I, I didn't even plan that. It couldn't have been planned any better. So I was, I was surprised when I took that. So I'm walking around the corner here, another to the side shot. This camera's at my hip, just to the side. This one's a little running gun right here. Nothing specific, just running gun. And this whole walk right here, the camera's at my side, no framing, just whatever I capture. And the reason why I put these photos into this video is because I like that everybody's looking towards something, but we don't know what it is. It could be an actor, it could be uh, some kind of celebrity, a musician, we don't know. And it was just a street performance, but I like how everybody's, their back is to the camera and there's a large collection of people and we have no idea what's going on. I thought that was interesting. And that's exactly why I like to take those kind of shots, especially in crowds, because somebody would just think you're taking low shots of somebody, their body or whatever. But mine is like, I love how it's like, we have no idea what they're looking at. It could be something life changing that we would never even know. We don't get that, but we just get their their stance, where they're looking. The back is to the camera. We have no idea. It's a I got shot. a couple of great pigs, but so I, I love to take those type of uh, and, and it's easy too, because I, you know, some of the pictures don't come out well, but you'd be surprised. A lot of them actually do come out pretty good. So uh, I definitely have adopted that style. It's just walking and have the camera to my side and see what I can get. It's another good uh, intersection right here. It's very crowded. So just, um, I'm gonna frame up again. I'm just gonna stay still with my camera. Whatever gets into frame, just take the shot. So I thought, that, I thought these shots came out pretty well. I also love, you know, some, depending on who you talk to about photography, some people say not to take photos of anything directly to date the time of the photo. That's, I, that's what I've heard. But I love taking certain shots to date the time because we can go back in history or I could go back when, I, you know, in the future, 30 years from now and look, I took these photos of a time that we lived in where we all had to wear masks. I thought I think that was the pinnacle getting me out to shoot that day was I wanted to capture this moment in history for myself. So 30 years, 40 years from now, I could tell my kids like, yeah, this, you know, this whole virus is real. I got video and I got photos to prove it. And this is how everybody was living. So I thought that was pretty. Uh, that, that's what really what drove me to get out. I wanted to capture this before it went away and then you can't really prove it no more so it was a big thing for me so here's more of a hip shots those are all hip shots nothing you know nothing, nothing framed up real well an interesting shot there another hip shot right here It's just interesting perspectives. I, I find them to be very interesting perspectives. There's more hip shots right here. Just interesting perspectives that it's even, it's candid times too, because you're not even holding up a shot for them to see the, the cameras at your hip. They have no idea even after the fact that you took a picture of them. So I really enjoy those. This one, I was trying to line up the shot with the people and it was too late that I didn't even notice, but there's actually a lady walking through perfectly in the center. And I didn't even, for some reason, didn't even notice her until after the fact. And so I got her not so much centered, but shot came out. But I do think it's very powerful, just the whole 
dating the photos i i mean depending it, it depends on what kind of that's that's why i feel like to art there's no real rules there shouldn't and i don't really think there is any rules to art in any medium that you use i don't think there should be because everybody's ideas on it everybody's you know the way they create is different so i don't think that there isn't any rules but there's these little unspoken truths for some people but i, I you know it just depends on who you are it depends on what you want to shoot uh for sure people would say the way i capture my images is wrong or you should do it like this or little tips here and there but uh, i enjoy doing it i enjoy doing it and i like the results that i see i get the, the pictures that i want and uh, i'm not you know having fun doing it so i can't really be upset about anything but definitely if you have anything you know it doesn't have to be just photography it could be art with any medium you know pen pencil markers paint uh, it could be music just any type of you know filmmaking or just video production or whatever whatever it is i would highly recommend for a therapeutic feel start creating i think that that's what helped me during this whole pandemic is just creating something some you know dedicating your time towards your own craft you know i, I thought that was uh a good therapy for me is like i'm able to create i'm able to stay in tune with myself and what exactly it is that i'm trying to go for and what is it that i'm trying to create whether it be photography whether it be music whether it be anything you know focus on your own craft and add your own style to things you know some good shit dude so we always so by this time the sun was just hidden this is perfect the sun's going down now um and this is another shot this is this is actually in frame where you can see okay it's a hip shot now just right at the right at the hip fire and you just capture beauties like that i mean perfect symmetry you know the sewer he was standing right on it the lines lead right up to the sewer i don't know just something crazy about shots like that that you know Oh no, you're good. Shut the fuck up. I will fucking laser you with alien fucking eyes and explode your fucking head. So that's pretty much pretty much it for the video. Just a quick little walk around Hollywood Boulevard, try to capture some magic. Nothing too crazy. Pretty much like a little warm-up date. You know, I haven't been shooting in a very long time. I haven't shot since I wanna say earlier last year of 2020 so it was just a definitely felt good to get back out there and just taking these shots and putting this video together you know it's very therapeutic for me um you know if you like the vids like the pictures just you know throw a thumbs up i get back on the next one and you know talk to y'all later shit Not bad. Fuck. Not a bad little introduction. Got some definitely great film shots, but uh, I'm stingy with those. Particularly because the way you have to focus. Damn. I'm gonna um go somewhere else, but we're gonna drop this fucking bag off in the truck. Oh, but not too bad. Had a good first shoot. Enjoyed it. Um, probably gonna go to either Santa Monica right now or somewhere with lights. <laughs>